What's up guys, Shotgun Justice here with my first ever rant video. Now today, ironically, I'm going to be talking about one of the most popular video game franchises in video game history. And that series is, ironically, seeing how my name is Shotgun Justice, Call of Duty. Now before we get started, I want to point out that this is just my personal opinion. Uh, feel free to voice your opinions in the comments below. You know, I'm just trying to be honest here. I know some of you guys may disagree with me on whatever my topics are. So, with that, let's get started. Alright, now the first Call of Duty that was ever released was in 2004 and was called Call of Duty The Finest Hour. And then the next year, Activision released Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1. And then the next year, 2006, it was Call of Duty 3. And at that point, things were getting a bit repetitive. I mean, Activision was kind of just feeling out the process for Call of Duty. And then Call of Duty 4 came out, which was basically the first major Call of Duty game that really capture the online deathmatch craze, you know, point and shoot, which we all know today. A lot of people I know played Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4, and that's pretty much what started it off. And then they released Call of Duty World at War, which is, well, pretty much a blatant copy of Modern Warfare only 50 years ago, and with a flamethrower. Now, Call of Duty, Activision I mean, then released Modern Warfare 2, which is pretty much Modern Warfare 1, or Call of Duty 4, just with different maps and different guns. And then there was Modern Warfare 3, or Black Ops rather, then Modern Warfare 3, then Black Ops 2, then Ghosts. That's 10 Call of Duty games in, well, 10 years. One released each year. Now you may be asking, well, what's the problem? What's your beef? Well, my beef is that it just seems too repetitive for me. I mean, with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3, it all just seems the same. I mean, it all just seems very repetitive. As in, you know, point and shoot, point and shoot, point and shoot. That's pretty much the same thing. The only difference, really, is slightly better graphics as we go moving. A few new guns here and there, and different maps, and a different storyline. But no one really pays attention to the storyline anyway in any Call of Duty game because they're always busy playing the uh, multiplayer then that's it. I really don't see the difference between Ghosts and Modern Warfare and Black Ops other than maybe Zombies and Black Ops. And you know, it seems all the same to me. Point and shoot, point and shoot, point and shoot. Pointless rage, 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 more rage, and more rage from dying. Now you could say the same thing about a game like Super Mario Brothers. You know, it's the same kind of deal each time. Stomp, get the mushroom, stomp the Goomba, kick the turtle, fight Bowser. Stomp the Goomba, get the mushroom, kick the turtle, fight Bowser again. But at least they changed the format with games such as Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, uh, Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario 3D World. Plus, every time I play Call of Duty, all I hear is a bunch of grade school kids raging over nothing. Do parents actually let their kids play a game where you mindlessly kill people for fun? That's not how parenting should go. These people have pretty much just given up on parenting. You sing, you know, play whatever you want, I don't care. You're going to your father's this weekend anyway. I'm kind of drifting off topic here. But for when I have kids... 
They are not playing this crap. They will play good games like Super Mario Brothers or Crash Bandicoot or Sonic the Hedgehog or even the Uncharted series. At least that has some point of a story to it and the story is pretty much in depth. And another thing about Call of Duty is it gets kind of boring after about 30 minutes. I mean, I played it a, a few days ago, and I don't play it that much anyway, but I found myself bored after about two death matches because, oh, this is point and shoot, point and shoot, point and shoot. Well, at least Super Mario Brothers, you could play that all day and not get bored because every level is different, there's different things, you know, different obstacles, and all that kind of stuff. But Call of Duty, on the other hand, the map is filled with snipers and campers. Next map, same things, more snipers and campers. The next map, same thing, more snipers and campers. I honestly don't get it. I just don't. Every time I go into a level, it's a camper, or it's a sniper, or it's someone with a really high level and an overpowered weapon. Again, it's just my personal opinion. I mean, I know I'm probably getting flamed for this. But, hey, who's ever going to watch this anyway? So, that's my quick rant on Call of Duty. Uh, stay tuned for more rants and maybe some more gameplay. Uh, so, you remember to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you later.